right, it's still the street assembly, and we are still here in um, Tunumbu Square Street constituency. Um, I have with me another set of gentlemen that wants to analyze the news that made headlines um, into our newspaper this morning with me. Good morning, sir. Can we meet you, sir? Yes, Ibrahim Olajide is my name. Mr. Ibrahim, and you too, sir. Good morning. My name is Aziz Adimola. And Mr. Aziz. Okay, quickly, let's go to Daily Sun. It says, um, more trouble for APC over zoning. And um, North Central Edda has not advised Buhari ruling um, party. Insist on zone producing reps um, speaker. What's your reaction on um, this particular one that's coming um, from the APC camp? It's quite, I mean, it's quite unfortunate. The situation we found ourselves in this country, uh, uh, everybody is at 40. First on this issue, I think uh, I will point the accusing finger, I mean, the 40 fingers to the party, main party, I mean, the ruling party, APC. APC, because uh, we expect them that they should have already put their house in order. Because they see what happened in the last uh, dispensation of this present government, 2015. So, uh, every party must have its own agenda. And being a member of party, you must be very disciplined. And it's because here in this country, uh, uh, actually they have just already passed uh, a bill that we accept independent candidates. candidates. But since the candidates we have now, they are still under a party platform, which is the party that brought them, I mean, uh, to that uh, elected uh, position. So, uh, so, I don't want to know any... I mean, self-interest they have in their mind. One thing they just have to do first is to listen to their party and try to reason with their party because this government, this is a second chance for this APC government and they have to get this right. Then they have more patience for, but, but because of the love and uh, the man in the power or uh, because of his uh, political That's integrity. Right, yeah. So then they are still giving second chance. So, but this time around, we believe all their uh, political uh, elective uh, 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 candidates, I mean the National Assembly particularly, both rep and the House of Representatives, they see how they get lost with, I mean, in die minutes of the last dispensation mm. due to indiscipline and not uh, wanted to accept the party agenda as the, something that they have to key on it. So, oh, all right, sir. Um, hold your thoughts. I'm still going to come back to you. Um, sir, what's your own reaction on um, this particular headline? My own reaction is that there is something that they call federal character. The ruling party should try to use what they call federal character. I didn't support the uh, idea of zoning okay. because every, every, um, every member that is elected into the uh, lower house and the upper chamber, they are, they are, they are, they are, they are they are Nigerian citizens. They have the right to contest for any post that they like. The party should try and make and make a conclusion to make to let them go to the field and let the people and let the people that they let the, the choice the person that they want. They should try to give them. They should try to give them the. They should try to give them the ability to let them show their mind because we have to use character character in this, in, in our system. Because if you try to zone it, the president is from the north and the vice, the, the vice president is from the south. So we, there are another, there are another uh, good candidate that are from others, other region. So we should try to let people come out from the party to, uh, to contest so that they can, they can be free. It's not that we should be depending on the presidency to, to impose someone on us that this is the person that they want to use. Like APC, they want to use Lawan. And if the party con uh, they, they come together and choose Lawan as the candidate, we are good to go. What we are we, what we are after is that one Nigerian, one unity. We don't want our unity to one divide nation, one, nation. one nation. So Nigerian, we, you know, we don't need we don't need to be waiting for someone to say this is one, this is the rightful candidate. We know all the senators, they know all the House of Representatives, they know the rightful candidate that they can say, okay, go out. And contest. All right, sir. So, um, are, are you saying, per chance, that um, the party's uh, um, agenda or the party stand um, in terms of choosing candidates um, should not be applied? Yes. No. What I want to say is that, what I want to say is that the party they should try it and let the uh, the elected uh, member they should come together to choose one person if they want the person that this is the rifle there are so many candidates there now so it's not if they choose lawan if they support lawan it's good to go 
But it's not that they should be post like that. that this, you know, this is the right food candidate. All uh, 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 right, sir. Um, please still hold your thoughts. I'm going to come back to you. Sir, um, you've heard what he said um, as against what um, you, you, you spoke earlier. And I'm still going to ask you the same question. Um, do you think um, the party, APC now, um, the candidates, um, the elected candidates in the different House of Representatives should go by what uh, um, um, the party is uh, standing for or they should give the polit individual political um, uh, um, what's it called now the individual politicians or the individual candidates in the house the chance to contest for either position the, of the speakership or the senate uh, i still hold on with my opinion the party agenda should be the supreme the supremacy uh, the reason why is that uh, if this uh, APC lost this second chance. They have gone. We are seeing Nigerians now. Every four four years, we are getting more interested in our political affairs, and we are being enlightened. And you can see how this election went. You know, it's just a big serious contention. Some of the region that uh, this ruling party has power, they checkmate them in some st other states. So, so this time around, if they are not, I mean, put their house in order. And they allow it to went away. The next election, they are going to remove from the power. Because Nigeria is getting wise every day and night. But what I just will advise them, or oh, they have limited time, but yes, they still have time to talk to their members and to let them see the reason why that, please, you just have to be concur with the party agenda. Let's have a very like small mock exam, or let's say uh, primary within themselves and bring a consensus candidate. What I'm still insist on is that party supremacy, I mean party agenda have to be the supreme. All right, party agenda um, supposed to be supreme when it comes to who will become the speaker or the Senate president for this um, ninth assembly. Thank you very much, sir. Say you joined me for the street assembly this morning. And also you, sir, my name, you never change. See, as I the sweat because the news where the headline here yeah, is make person now very hot one and it's supposed to make person sweat. Will they come back? No touch that. that. All right, distinguished viewers, it's been a very insightful and interesting session here in Tunubu Street constituency. And um, TSA today being a Wednesday as, um, edition, it's on the hot. Like we always talk, remember, say, we'll be one Nigeria. Remember, say, we'll be one nation. Uh, may you not kill your brother because if you cut my skin, I blood dead there. If you cut your own skin, self, I blood dead there. No tribalism. Make we make this nation great until next time when we come again. Stay blessed, stay focused. My name is Rafael Wani Ripando, also known as the Honorable Speaker of the Street. I don't work out.